the Foley Steels Maiden will close day two of the first week of this new season then. And it's a mile and three furlongs this time, I think. All three year olds and upwards. And the field is headed by Paul Letter for Alex Cherry. Fabrique Belgique for Martin Leadham. Gammy's Ficker for Darren Thompson. Mix of Intrigue, Joshua Sutherland. Scene of the Crime, Leon Van Rensburg. Song Yang Proof for M. McMilk. That's a new one on me, a new trainer. So welcome to you. Differentious for Jim Murray. Lascivious or Lascivious for Padre Hogan. Minigal Melody, James Shea. Aces Mustard, Stu Gray. All Leans, Paul Rhodes. Secluded Marty Cairns and Sunrays for Paul O'Neill. They're all installed then and ready to go and away they go for the final time today and a mix of intrigue in the black and the red hoops was quickly out but now it's going to be Song Yang Proof who's hit the lead so the new trainer gets his horse in the lead for at least a few strides before all Leans comes to the challenge but now Song Yang Proof has gone on again so Song Yang Proof is clear by two to All Leans in second then comes Differentious in third with wider on the track then mix of uh, not mix of intrigues also there and Fabrique Belgique's trying to get into it as well but it's Song Yang Proof who's the leader now by four or five lengths to in second place All Leans they're queuing up really behind this leader to throw down a challenge but they've got to make up the six length deficit to get to him first and Song Yang Proof passes the seven and a half furlong Point with a very really clear lead with Gammy's Ficker now moved through into second. On well, that one's widest on the track, Paul Letter is also out wide as well. So too Lascivious, and then comes Sunray trying to get into it. Differentious is also trying to get there. Then Fabric Belgique on the outside of Mix of Intrigue. Bit of a gap back to Oasis Mustard and Minigal Melody. Seal of the Crime's got work to do, and Secluded is the back marker. But now Song Yang Proof, the jock had a little look around there, and he can see they're beginning to close on him. He's only two lengths clear, he's only one and a half. Half that's clear and passing the five pole is only a length clear from Lascivious in second, then Differentious and All Leans and Sunrays and Gammy's Ficker is still there trying to run as well, but now the lead changes and Differentious takes it up. It's Differentious in the lead from All Leans in second. Song Yang Proof is trying to fight back on the inside, still there in third. Then Lascivious and Sunrays mix of intrigue. Gammy's Ficker trying to get into it as well, still. They've still got three furlongs to race and it's three in a line. It's a ding dong head bobbing battle at the moment. All Leans, Song Yang Proof gets back in front on the inside. All all Leans, Differentious is still there. Oh, now look at this scene of the crime come from the back to throw down a challenge as well. But it's Differentious and All Leans from scene of the crime. Song Yang Proof Lascivious is still there. But now All Leans is beginning to assert. And All Leans has got a length clear. They're racing down towards the final furlong there now. And it's All Leans in the lead by a length and a half. All Leans passes the furlong pole with a lead on a length and a half. From Differentious in second, Lascivious is third. Then comes scene of the crime. Gammy's figures trying to run. But it's All Leans now with a quarter of a furlong to go. Racing up towards the line. It's going to be all these seen in the crime differentious lascivious they're all flash past the post and it was a really tight finish in the end and exciting way to end day two and did all the ends hold on or did scene of the crime get up on the outside the angle is very very difficult to gauge but we can see from that that all Leans has taken it for Paul Rhodes and the Professor gets the winner in the last race of the day. Scene of the crime for Leon von Rensburg was second. Differentist for Jim Murray was third. The Sylvia for Patrick Hogan who's had a pretty good day was fourth and mix of intrigue for Joshua Sutherland was fifth.